Gotta turn this. Airplane mode. Oh, you haven't seen this? No. Oh, this is so good. Yeah. It was, it was like, a like, yeah, yeah, a few yeah, days. This is first my mind. I think it reaffirmed my love for Oh, yeah. Good luck for Craig. Yeah. How long did you get to play? I don't even remember. For like three lines. Oh, my God. Craig. Craig's a favorite character. Oh, Craig. <laughs> Craig, it's gonna be an inside <laughs> joke for the rest of history. <laughs> Did you see the Fantastic Beast one? No, I didn't. That was, that was good. That was super. I don't know. I didn't hear about that. Yeah, they did too. I don't know if they're going to do it anymore. I assume, I mean, it's been extended, right? They're probably going to do it again. Yeah. A Fantastic well, Beast. Well, I think people, they extended it again, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had no idea they were going to do it again. That was the one they were in the pit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that means like they're off Barbie now. And so the whole thing is a joke of men. The girl who plays um, Harry Potter was playing um, Newt's Commander. Oh, huh? and she like uh, their Harry. I forget. I don't know her name, but she, she was playing. What she was playing. Eddie Redmayne, <laughs> not Scooter, but Dude's Commander, Eddie Redmayne. Oh, I love it, like, a surprise Johnny Depp. And surprise Johnny Depp. Just a minute. Just a minute. I haven't seen this yet. Oh, you haven't seen this? Oh. I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this either of you. Oh, I didn't know. What? I know. What's wrong? You're like, what's wrong with me? It's funny. I don't know. Sorry. Excuse me. I don't know. No, I don't. Oh, I didn't show. No, I've seen the next one. Oh, then you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already did the next one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got surprised, surprised Johnny Depp is a joke in their play, oh, I know. which would be hysterical. No one expected well, that. Well, that was like, <laughs> the entire movie I really liked until that was so. <laughs> oh. You could tell it was like, oh shit, we have a star now, we have another star, we have to make sure we see more of the men. Yeah. Hi, everybody! Hi! Wizards Nights, Fridays Nights. Thank you all so much for being here. As mentioned, we will be doing a video of the official 
little cute. Ah, nice. Can you determine that at any moment now? Uh, any moment. In a second. <laughs> so, there is a drinking game in Woo! with this. Uh, as I mentioned, it was written, uh, you know, the week that a certain script came out, and so, you know, it's full of just fun, fun stuff. So what's going to happen is, though, uh, anytime we say the word cursed, and then cursed child, should that happen, we're going to do like a Pee Wee Herman scream, so it's like, he's cursed! Ah! And then you drink, or he's a cursed child. Ah! So you know, just kind of guess if the word child is going to be coming. <laughs> just follow us. We probably pretty much don't understand. Uh, we'll find out. We'll figure it out. Uh, and there's even some additional parts tonight that were just added that some of the cast doesn't know exist. <laughs> oh my awesome. <laughs> Jack Thorne, based on a story by Matt Cox. Uh, <laughs> part one! On stage! On stage is a calendar! A big one, just in case we might need to keep track of what day, month, or year it may be. Just in case. Prologue and epilogue! 19 years later, the platform of a certain train station, children in robes run around, and aged Megan Jones stands waiting. Oh boy. Back at the train station. Okay, Megan. <laughs> Keep a low profile, and maybe no one will try to talk to you. Blondo enters next to her, talking to a small, blonde child. Now promise me you'll be on your best behavior. That's my boy, young Scorpius. Blondo Malfoy exits. Megan Mouse, the name Scorpius, because, wow. And I plug the long bottom enter. Megan, hi. Hannah! Long bottom. How's it going? <laughs> Me and Hannah got married. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you told me. Got to get a pie. Come on now. Pie. <laughs> Ernie Mac enters. Separately at that same moment, Susie Bones enters. She is a wanderer, a nomad. Looky there. Is that who I think it is? It's critically acclaimed wizard author Megan Jones. <laughs> yep, that's me. Ernie and Susie, I didn't expect to see you here. I conduct the train. Choo choo. <laughs> That's my bit of train humor because I conduct the train. Choo choo. <laughs> see, that a wee bit of train humor. <laughs> 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 Susie, do you have a kid or something? No. I'm just passing through. Walking, it's all I do. I walk from place to place, walking just quickly enough that death may never catch up. <laughs> I may never stop. It, it is very sad. It's nice to be in a place of joy. Sometimes I forget what it feels like. Happiness, that is. <laughs> okay, bye! Bye! <laughs> Shit, Megan Longbottom got hot. <laughs> yes, you were never gonna believe what Pyro named his new kid. Wait, where's Wayne? I thought you had him. Fuck, not this again. Did we leave him at my mom's? Wayne! 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 Wayne Rivers Jones, 10, hereby known as Little Wayne, runs on. <laughs> I'm done. I'm scared to go to school. I'll be honest with you. You should be. When I was there, if it wasn't an evil teacher, it was a giant snake. Or soul-sucking security guards. One year, there was a sports tournament. Someone died. Oh, you'll be fine. Or maybe you won't. Or maybe you will. But what if I'm bad at being a wizard? Oh, son, you were named for someone who started out as one of the worst wizards ever. Now, you've got a train to catch. Ooh, I like trains! <laughs> yes, it's a uh, Megan Oliver oh, one. <laughs> okay, you ready for this? New kid's name, Albus Severus. I can beat it. Scorpius. No, man, you have no idea how to name children. Oh, have, do you see Potter, that new ministry job he's got? He's so overworked, I feel bad for him. What? Don't you feel bad for his family, his youngest kid? It's like he's cursed. What? Ah! <laughs> 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 Wait, he's a cursed child. Ah! <laughs> Parts one and two. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> Hey, what house do you think you'll get sorted into? I don't 
have a pretty good idea. And now we are transported as if by magic to a school. <laughs> a wizard school. A group of children wait to be sorted, including Lil Wayne. A very elderly and frail headmaster, McGee, reads from a park Potter, Potter, Al. Harry walks up with a sock puppet on his hand. The sock puppet is Al. <laughs> Snake! A silence. The room and the internet are shocked. <laughs> whispers abound! The kind of whispers that hurt feelings, you know. Well, fine, whatever. Scorpius appears next to Al. It's okay, Al. You can stand next to me. A sensual moment between us. <laughs> More whispers! Yes, yes, so I still have a bit of budget. Moving on. River Jones, Wayne. Music soars as Lil Wayne, nervous, excited for his future, takes a seat on a stool. A hat is placed on his head. He looks up expectantly, knowing in just a moment he'll finally achieve his dream of becoming a puff. The hat speaks! Rave! Another silence. A profound silence. Oh. Little Wayne passes out, falls off the stool, and hits the ground. <laughs> Cut to scene! Brave Tower! A real rager of a party is happening. Everyone is fist something and hoo hoo hooing. <laughs> like that, because being a brave is always awesome. Wayne sits quietly in a corner. He does not chant. Okay, Wayne. Okay, Wayne. Okay, Wayne. You can fly. You just have to believe that you can fly. <laughs> believe that you can touch the sky. <laughs> believe that you can soar. Behind Wayne, Craig has entered. Poor, poor oh. Craig. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Oh. I'm Craig. <laughs> Are you talking to yourself? <laughs> Yes. Hi, Craig. Wait. Are you waiting for me to say something else? <laughs> A second sentence? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, boy! Usually people don't let me talk for too long. Wow, wow, we wow! <laughs> this is exciting. Okay, Craig. Make it a good one. Make a real good impression. Now you're talking to yourself. Then <laughs> laughter, the laughter of the youth. The audience is reinvigorated by the laughter, remembering a time when they too were young. <laughs> when they laughed too. <laughs> You're Wayne Rivers Jones, right? Your parents were like the coolest puffs ever. Not to mention, you know. Wayne, the person who you're named after? You know Wayne. I'm Craig. I'm a puff. Hi. Hi! <laughs> I, I thought I was going to be a puff, but now I can hear everyone talking behind my back about how I'm not. I'm a brave. I don't think anyone's doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, cool. But I better get back to class. Sometimes I just like walking outside around the sports pitch. <laughs> wow. You're my best friend ever, Wayne. <laughs> best friend. Best friend? Yay! <laughs> Boy! Greg exits as Scorpius enters. Uh, hello. Uh, you're Scorpius, right? Am I pronouncing that correctly? <laughs> I know why you're here. You're here to call me names, to mock me because of who everyone says my real father is. 
You've heard the rumours. Well, yeah, you kind of tell everyone. <laughs> the rumours are true. The Dark Lord isn't my father. A silence. A deep silence. A hurt silence. <laughs> you know, some people say that my mum travelled back in time and that my real father is actually the old potions teacher from an alternate timeline where robots rule us all and everyone has oranges for heads. <laughs> really? No, I was just trying to relate. Now, <laughs> Anytime here at Scorpius speak, their faces are very close together. <laughs> hey, Scorpius. Hey, Al. How's it going? <laughs> Fine. You? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> they exit. Wayne stands there for a moment. Then all of a sudden, a broomstick zooms through the air, collides through Lil Wayne's head. He falls to the ground. Scorpius pops back out. Look out, there's a... Oh. What is it? <laughs> Nothing. They exit as Wayne's body slightly twitches. See, <laughs> A wizard hospital! And just like that, we're in a hospital. Megan paces back and forth. Eventually, Oliver runs on. About time. You realize our son is in critical condition, right? Yes, I am so sorry. I tried to get away, but listen, being the official mathematician, rocket scientist of the Magic Ministry is very important. I can't just run off. Lots of responsibilities. What is it you actually do there? I don't know. <laughs> I can't figure out what does they expect of me, so I mostly sit at a desk and they pay me. How's he doing? They said he should be fine. A random witch walks up to Megan. Hi, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but you're Megan Jones, the critically acclaimed wizard author, right? <laughs> yep, that's me. Would you sign a book for me? In a hospital? In the emergency section of the hospital? Could you make it out to Grim Smorcher? That's me. <laughs> Fine. I really loved your last few book. The the last book. The Lion Aslan does so many amazing things. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought a whole world could be inside of a wardrobe? I just don't know where you come up with that stuff. Yep, bye. The witch <laughs> We're gonna figure out you just copy my old books and add wizard words to them? Nope. I sincerely do not think they will. A witch doctor enters! A witch! That is a doctor! <laughs> Miss Jones, Mr. Rivers, I'm a witch doctor. Not that guy. <laughs> That's an old witch who's a doctor joke. Gets him every time. <laughs> Thank Wizard Jesus. How is he? <laughs> oh, so, hey, broomstick, a broomstick, a broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> already awful, horrific head injury. Yeah, he's fine. Megan and Oliver breathe a sigh of relief. Well, mostly fine. Megan and Oliver, give that doctor a look. You <laughs> should follow me to my office. A pause! Suddenly chairs appear and they're in an office! Ooh. Welcome to my office. Why don't you sit down? They do! <laughs> mostly fine. You see what I mean is that he won't necessarily be fine. Let's discuss what... Fine, actually, <laughs> you're confused. Are you confused about the word fine? I hate wizards. I hate witches. I hate dealing with them in public places. <laughs> Maybe we just try saying what's going on. You'll clear and simple. Oh, I see. Yes. Yes, o okay. We can try that. I'm a witch doctor, after all. Not that guy. No. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> exactly as he was before. However, the bump to the old noggin might have displaced his time sphincter. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Ass? <laughs> <laughs> oh? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's his time sphincter. You're saying that like we should know what that is. It's the little part of our brains that keeps us grounded in our own current reality. Now, what does this mean for your son? Probably nothing. There's probably nothing to worry about. However, should miraculously and unexpectedly someone start meddling with time and all willy-nilly cause damage to the timeline on some sort of noble mission? The tone of the room gets dark. The doctor speaks sinisterly. Your son will experience shifts to reality. He can travel through time itself alongside them. He will be imprisoned in whatever new world is created. He will despair. He is cursed. Whoa! He is a cursed child. Whoa! Everything's back to normal. I'm sure none of that will happen. All the spinners were destroyed a long time ago, so that's definitely, probably, most likely 
thing maybe, maybe wouldn't happen. Otherwise, <laughs> the only potential effect is that as he gets older, he might find himself reliving key moments of his past. You know, his own history, and perhaps the history of those close to him. He might say some of it aloud, you know, vividly imagine it. Could be entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Does it sound too bad? Well, let's just hope our good friend Mr. Potter doesn't randomly find a time thing and screw everything up. <laughs> <laughs> A silence. <laughs> a fearful silence. The two of them each other. By the way, Miss Jones, I loved your work about the dinosaur theme park. <laughs> See? <laughs> and the one, Wayne, with a bandage around his head enters. It is the end of his first year, and he's telling his parents about his year. Oh, wow. What else happened this year? On Christmas, I saw a bunch of my friends, and I said, Happy Christmas! And they said, Happy Christmas back! <laughs> and then later on Valentine's Day, my best friend Craig gave me a fancy quill, and it was cool, but later he had to ask for it back because the person it belonged to wanted it back. <laughs> <laughs> and there were no trolls, no long dead evil wizards came back, no oversized chess games? Nope. It was fun. Except, you know... The whole not being a puff and having to be cool and popular with the Braves thing. I hate that. Wayne Aww. is deeply sad and it hurt her. Hey, it's okay. Consider yourself lucky. You broke a family curse. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely not a cursed child. <laughs> they, come, they come in twos. Wayne is still sad. <laughs> you know what I think it's time for? Ben. Oh, Ben! It's time for Ben! Nothing to worry about. That school a perfectly safe place for children now. Yeah, no problem to be found. They embrace! It's sweet. Maybe we should send another there? What? Like a duct one? <laughs> <laughs> Pretend to be his parents? Send him to school. I don't know. I like it, but I don't know. No, no, I mean, we could, you know. <laughs> send another one? Train. Bye! I'll write every day and I'll try not to die like you said. That's all we ask. Bye! <laughs> Stay away from diaries or any book that starts talking to you. Avoid those. And snakes! No snakes! The animals! And the people! Wando <laughs> Malfoy enters! He has a goatee, which means he's important. He runs a <laughs> Megan! Excuse you? These rumors about my son are unfounded! Just not true. All the children are making fun of my boy! Dude, you gotta stop bringing it up all the time. I would just forget about it if you didn't always talk about it. He's <laughs> not! Shrimp! <laughs> and now my wife, Sunny Sand, is <laughs> It isn't easy being Blondo Malfoy. The exit! Scorpius walks by with a trunk full of hopes and dreams. Scorpius looks out to the audience. Susie Bones enters and also looks out to the audience. You look like you're hoping and dreaming. <laughs> Ma'am. I'd give up if I were you. You have to stop coming here. <laughs> Susie Bones! <laughs> Susie Bones is escorted out of the train station. <laughs> and happy about it. Through a door, <laughs> Zach Smith, Potions yeah. Teacher Suckers! <laughs> Zach Smith here. I'm gonna teach you kids some boom, 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 potions. <laughs> some chemistry. Oh. Some sexual chemistry. <laughs> grab your beakers. Not that one. <laughs> that kid was totally gonna grab his dick. <laughs> hey, man! You said you were gonna grab your dick! I was going to grab I it. knew it! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I shouldn't talk to 11 year olds that way, but I did! You can't do anything about it because you're just children and I'm an adult! Yeah! I think I might get lucky with the new transfig teach. She can turn to a frog. 
Uh, oh. 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 Rib it, rib it. What do you think, kid? Uh, you. Uh, 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 lucky like you drank a luck potion? No! Like, get it! <laughs> Nick picks up a potion and just throws it to the ground. Fuck that potion! <laughs> okay, let's make a new potion or whatever. Put the liquids in, and then you add the special ingredient. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> You know where this is going. It ain't your wand, but it sure does look like it. Through the same door, the real potions teacher. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Who are you? <laughs> oh, me? <laughs> I'm just the janitor. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Have a fun class, kids! <coughs> Zach Smith! <laughs> Zach. Zach Smith stays on stage for a moment to mop up the mess. <laughs> he cries a little. He exits. Eventually, Rose raises her hand. Um, will any of that be on the table? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me too! Done! And just like that, Wade is back at home with Megan and Oliver! <laughs> Great! And there were no giant snakes, no children were abducted. No spider armies? Nope. Oh, another good year. Good job! Hey, Oliver, you figure out what you're supposed to be doing at your ministry job yet? No, I have no idea. <laughs> the silence! And then all laugh, a family together, all. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Scene! Year three, the train station! Wait, Megan and Oliver! Okay, I'm fun at school! Here's your field trip form! Hi! Megan and Oliver exit! Craig enters! Hi, best friend! Hug! <laughs> <laughs> Drink this! <laughs> Bath <Bad> beverage! <laughs> <laughs> Big drunk! <laughs> oh. Woo! Got a student crush on! Woo! Bye, best friend! The year is done now! Back and Oliver enter! <laughs> How is you three? No murderers, no slumber parties? No soul-sucking monsters, no werewolf teachers, no... No time, time travel! travel. Not that I know of. Xavier Jones, formerly evil, now just a regular grandmother enters. Who wants cookies? <laughs> oh, Grandma Xavier, me! I want cookies! I also want cookies! A well, funny story. I tried to make some and they were bad. <laughs> uh, then we bought some at the store and they were good. But I left them at the store, so we don't have any cookies and I guess that's life. Oh. They all laugh together! <laughs> and then Oliver's parents show up and they laugh too! Their heads are still oranges! Grab <laughs> on Grandpa Rivers! She sits next to Wayne. Oliver enters last, covered in dust, dirt, and blood. He is crying. He holds a torn up piece of paper in his hands. The silence. Finally! So, year four, not so good. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I can say we've all gone through some serious shit this year, and maybe we leave it at that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the silence. Finally, Megan snaps! Fuck! Fuck this! <laughs> It's them! We will never escape it! We won't escape them! Everything we find, and then we all get caught in someone's big adventure! Well, fuck that! 
There is one person we can blame. Yeah, there's definitely one person who caused all this to happen. One person. <laughs> His name <laughs> is Potter. Blackout! And part one! Part two! There is no part two! <laughs> part three! <laughs> See! The Wizard World's greatest detective! The Cobbler suddenly reforms time! Pages are added back, and we now know we are back at the beginning of year four! which all of part three takes place during a dark stage. We hear a voice in the wizard criminal justice. <laughs> <laughs> the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups. The wizards who investigate crime, and then uh, the people who take the probable criminals to terrifying wizard prison. <laughs> These are their stories. <laughs> An office, in the room, a desk, yellow wizard crime tape is everywhere. Wizard officials are taking photos, dusting prints, you know, that stuff. These wizards speak with very authentic, real, perfect New York accents. <laughs> so nasty business. <laughs> I should get back. It's time I 
Harry goes to put his glasses back on and hits himself very hard in the face, <laughs> causing a large cut. Oh! Blackout scene! The Department of Rocket Science and Math <laughs> Magicianry. <laughs> and just like that, we're in an office. Ooh. Oliver's oh. office. Oliver sits at a desk. He is not doing work. He's just sitting at a desk. This is what he has done every day for the last 15 years. He asks himself the same question he has asked himself every day for 15 years. What do I do? <laughs> Suddenly, magically, a door opens. A very official wizard official enters. Oliver scrambles to grab a piece of paper and starts scribbling on it. Oh, oh hey, man. That, that's not what. <laughs> All right, hey, uh, just doing some work. Working. Uh, hard work. Sure. Yes, we've noticed, Rivers. We think you're doing some top-notch work here. So much so that we want to offer you a promotion. What? We want to transfer you to the Department of Magical Law Enforcement as a Specialist. That sounds like a place with clear expectations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you'll be working as a liaison to Mr. Potter, spending a lot of time with him. And we have your first job already. We just need you to get him to sign this form. He loves signing things. Should be quite easy. Thank you for all your hard work, Mr. Rivers. See you around. The wizard official exits, Oliver takes a moment, and then starts crying. <laughs> See? Megan is the minister, another part of the ministry. Megan sits in a waiting room. That same wizard official enters. Jones! Listen, whatever it is, I didn't do. I was being imperious, said, so I'll be gone. No, 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 Miss Jones. You see, we are all big fans of your books. That Atticus Finch is one <laughs> interesting wizard lawyer. Thanks. We are such fans that you are being bestowed the honor of writing the first biography of our current minister. Hermia. Mia Granger. We will figure that part out eventually. <laughs> Uh, no. No, now, 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 we will not take no for an answer. Here's a badge that gives you full clearance. We'll just be shadowing her for the next few weeks while you write the book, all right? All right, great. It's due in a few months, okay? And here is your advance. They drop a very large bag of money in front of Megan and leave. Fuck. See? <laughs> Wayne and Craig! Wayne is sitting in his room. He's writing a letter to Craig. And so, to wrap things up, I definitively think things might have been easier in the battle if everyone just loved each other. And then everyone would be protected by love and no one could ever die. <laughs> That's what I would have done. Okay. See you soon. <coughs> Wayne. Wayne takes the letter and throws it out the window. A second later, a paper airplane flies through the window. Wayne excitedly opens it. Greg appears. Dear Wayne, I agree about everything. <laughs> As always. You know, I was thinking the other night, have you ever wondered what the world might be like if Cedric never died? Oh. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we live next door to each other. Your best friend, Craig. Craig disappears. Wayne takes a note and holds it to his heart, happy. Oh. See, more Harry! Harry enters. He stands. Cedric's dad enters. Harry, I need you to help my boy. No. Londo Malfoy enters. Harry, I need you to dispel these rumors everyone is talking about about my son's true parentage. No. Oliver enters, form in hand. Harry, you can just sign this form for me. It's for work. No! See, Harry's house. We cut to inside of Harry's home. <laughs> Harry is looking into a mirror at himself. Ginny, his loving and quiet wife, enters. Harry, dear, I noticed you got two of our kids' presents for going back to school, <laughs> which is a weird thing. But I also noticed you seem to have forgotten a present for Al. Which one is he? The asshole one. Oh, <laughs> you know, the asshole one. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take care of it. See you, wife. Al, get in here! Ginny exits as Harry pulls up his sock puppet out. Al, here's a blanket. A blanket? Yeah, a baby blanket. What do I need with a blanket? What do I do with a blanket? Do what I do, cry and do it. But only the sun dries. I wish you were my dad! Ginny re-enters with Oliver! Harry, someone is here to see you from work? Hey, well, I Harry. wish you were my son! Yeah, take that kid, you suck! I wish there was a timeline where you were never born! You're cursed! Hey. Along with Harry, Ginny, and the Ronma. Amongst the crowd, Megan and Oliver. Megan is trying to take notes. How honestly, 
everyone. Had we skull heard of it? No! 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 What do you remember about the Three Wizard Tournament? I love when you talk history. <laughs> what if things happened? <laughs> I love where this is going. Jump off the train with me. I'll do anything! They is at the train! Wayne continues along to his seat. He waves to friends. Casual acquaintances alike. Friends who just want to live their lives, you know, not be erased from existence. <laughs> Eventually, Wayne sits down! Oh, what kind of candy should I get from the trolley witch? She should be coming by any moment. <laughs> The lights in the train flicker. More footsteps. Wayne is closer above his head. He looks up. Louder footsteps from outside the hallway. Wayne opens the door. Candy! The trolley witch appears, but now she's more like a terminator. With lights in her hands and a monstrous appearance. This happens. She holds up a picture of Elvis. Have you seen Train conductor enters! <laughs> Whoa, that was scary, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. Who is driving the train? <laughs> oh, I am, because I'm the train conductor. Choo choo. Oh, that's a wee bit of train conductor. I'm driving. <laughs> ah! Team! Ministry! Outside the meeting room! Oliver is pacing outside of your meeting room where Harry, Ron, Ginny, Blondo, Hermione, and Megan are meeting. He is still holding an unsigned form. He is practicing. Harry, hi. Good to see you. Please keep saying for me. It's the only job I've ever been given at my job. Megan exits the room. She is exhausted. These people are exhausting. Uh, apparently now, their kids are missing, <coughs> which probably would be interesting for a book, but then some other crazy thing happens, and we're off chasing that, and... and and Harry kind of sounds like a bad parent, if you ask me. <laughs> Not judging, but wow. How's it going? <laughs> so far, I have <clears throat> Hermione is the minister now. <laughs> she is, right? Yes. You're not qualified for this. From inside the room, we hear Blondo and Ginny arguing. My son is missing. Well, so is mine. <laughs> That's okay. I can't handle this anymore. Not getting involved right now. I'm going home. Come on. But the form. I'm sure you can wait. Bye, Harry, Hermione, Ron, wait, others. Wait, they they wait, start to walk. They immediately pass Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Harry, Ron, Hermione. They look back. Wait, but. Nope, not getting involved. They leave. <laughs> Nothing bad will happen because of that. Scene! School! Meanwhile, at school where all children are supposed to be, Wayne is sitting and talking to Rose. So, Rose, how's your year been? Oh, good so far. Yours? Oh, just fine. Kind of a weird start, but... <laughs> you know, Wayne, it's nice talking to you. You're easy to talk to. Everyone has such high expectations of me. It's nice to just be normal with you. You're a good friend. Well, I really enjoy talking to you, too. You're the only part about being a brave I really like, because I get to see you and talk to you all the time, and... I... All of a sudden, reality itself shifts as a group of young friends meddle with the timeline. Wayne grabs his head in pain. In a poop of smoke, Rose has vanished into thin air. She has never existed. <laughs> Wayne looks around. <laughs> Rose? Ow! Potter enters! Hi, Wayne. Hi. Have you seen Rose? Who's Rose? Your funny friend. But we're not friends. You've never spoken to me. <laughs> Hermione enters! A teacher in this timeline, but she is very mean. Mr. River Jones, you are late to my class. One million points from the brain! <laughs> I'm a mean teacher, and I never married Ron, which made me mean! <laughs> what is going on? Wayne runs away, all of a 
that it now passes out as his alternate reality self takes over. See! The headmaster's office! A few days later, after several events have transpired, including Harry becoming incredibly suspicious of his asshole child's choice of friend, a very elderly McGee hobbles to her desk. She arranges some flowers. You know, just a kind, nice, sweet old woman enjoying her night. Harry bursts into the room! Ginny sheepishly enters behind him. It's me, Harry! Uh, Mr. Puff. Listen, lady, this is how it's gonna be. My kid and this kid's and this Scorpius kid are not gonna be friends, and you are gonna make sure about it. Harry. Uh, Mr. Potter, I, I just don't take that to my job. Shh. I, I'm a headmaster. Harry, I think maybe we should. Oh, uh, <laughs> Richard! Harry, how about sign this book? <laughs> timeline imaginable. Everyone is very pale. Everyone has snarls on their faces. Wayne grabs a passing student. Excuse me, what day is it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know? It's the day of the Dark Lord. Got to somewhere. A man in a fancy chair spins around. A familiar face. A familiar noseless pale face which has been dead for 22 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! The real question is, who are you taking to the blood ball? <laughs> no! And part three! Part four! Surprise! There's four parts! <laughs> hey, this is the darkest timeline one could have ever imagined. He's been here for a few hours, it's full of some truly terrible people. However, he's still in school, so you know he's in the tenth class. Motion class to be exact, he sits among many evil children. Um. <laughs> I'm Wayne. My name? What are all of your names? <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> My name is Ezekiel Lucifer. <laughs> Children will play with Voldy kites at Voldy 
Oh. <laughs> um, sir, are we still going to kill all the regular non-magical people? No, let's not worry about that now. It's Voldy Day! And flashback! <laughs> also, aren't you supposed to be dead? Didn't it turn out that you were a double agent because you loved Harry's mother? Potions teacher very elaborately winks at Wayne. Onto the Rivers of Jones, boy. Onto wanted by the government. Ah. Uh... No? <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> Wayne, swiftly, stealthily, exits the class. See, hallway! Wayne is frantically running down the hallway. Eventually, he hears a name that stops him in his tracks. Look! It's the Scorpion King! The Rock is here? <laughs> Wayne looks around excitedly. Instead, very disappointingly, he sees a very non-rock confused Scorpius. Yeah, uh, I'm the Scorpion King. Where's my friend L? We're just friends. Trust me. Hello, Walter Magolis. Hey, Scorpion King. You ready to murder people tomorrow? Because that's what we do for fun, the murder. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, sure, yeah. And who are you taking to the blood ball? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, sure, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I just have to ask, who decided on blood ball? Flashback! <laughs> <Cool. laughs> sitting in his chair, Mr. Baldy again! All right. Now, the kids are all going to have a dump. Because no matter who's in charge, everyone loves a good dog. <laughs> yes, for names, just throw in a few out there. Hmm. The skeleton jamboree. <laughs> no. The cursed cartoon. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> something eventually. He continues, the thing. Under the sea! <laughs> Not evil enough, is it? <laughs> okay, just keep thinking. He continues to sit there thinking. <laughs> See! End flashback! <laughs> Someone we know. Cedric! Standing in front of him is Cedric, alive! Are you here to save me? You must be, because your famous, kind, good hearted Cedric. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wayne! Did I mention that Cedric is now evil because Looney losing the tournament made him evil? <laughs> Cedric, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. My name now 
Siva. <laughs> is that is that Cedric and the word evil combined? Yes. <laughs> Not to take care of you like I took care of Longbot. And only Longbottom. We need to kill someone else eventually. <laughs> Cedric, no. Not you too. Yes. Me too. <laughs> well, uh, Voldemort And also, Avada Gantel! Suddenly, from elsewhere, a spell explodes on stage. Seville is knocked to the ground. Standing in the hallway, dressed all in black, holding two wands, fully bearded, and every inch the hero is an alive adult, Wayne Hopkins! <laughs> You know, he taught me everything I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he taught me a little bit too much. Wayne yeah. <laughs> Junior, come with me if you want to live. <laughs> awesome! Hey, a secret hiding place, perhaps behind a chalkboard. Wayne, hey, Wayne, are talking? Now then, Wayne, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be with your parents. You're supposed to be with your parents in France. Oh, are my parents also some super spies in this timeline? No, your your dad works for the government and your mom is a plagiarist famous wizard author. Wait, <laughs> timeline's awesome. Please explain. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, on a few moments, Wayne Jr. just, you know, moves his mouth silently. <laughs> Vivid arm motions. Four hours go by in real time. <laughs> <laughs> After the dinner break. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I ended up here. I think it's very confusing. Basically, <coughs> I'm a cursed child. Whoa! 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 What? <laughs> yeah, that story checks out. Kind of, sort of. Kind of. Bit of an old Days of Future Past situation. <laughs> <laughs> or like Fringe. Oh. But different. Oh. <laughs> We gotta get you out of here. This place sucks, and you don't want to be here for the blood ball. Trust me. <laughs> Can I just ask, how did you, um, how did you end up so cool? <laughs> That's certainly a story. <laughs> During the battle, Potter was killed, so it was up to someone else to stand up, to protect others, to protect the school, to protect the world. And I was the only man for the job. I became a sort of Luke Skywalker figure. <laughs> but you know, a wizard. <laughs> well, technically. I know. <laughs> they refer to Jedi and sorcerers, which is close. <laughs> awesome. First, I fought the werewolves, tamed them. Then the giants, I brought them down to our level. And the beasts, I took down one of those rhino things without having to seduce it. <laughs> <laughs> Dragons. Oh, I fought the dragons. I rounded up any and all of Voldy's followers that I could, but eventually he became too powerful. But we all can't fall in line. Someone has to let him know that there are still those who believe in the power of good, who care about the other people of the world. They whisper about me. The Death Buddies. <laughs> they think I'm a myth. A ghost. The puff that owns the night. <laughs> Soon, I'll reveal myself, I'll face the Dark Lord, and I'll kill him. I'll give the people hope. I'll bring a ray of sunshine back to this world, just like the third Matrix movie. Oh. <laughs> How was that in this timeline? Amazing. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> that is a real shame. <laughs> Say, what's it like at school in your timeline? How are the puffs? I wouldn't know. I'm not one. And it's... It's the worst thing ever. Wayne, if there's one thing I've learned in life, it's not to put too much stock into wizard stuff, or things that hats say. <laughs> <laughs> Deep down, eventually, you know the person you want to be, and that's the person that you are. Anyways, come on. We need to keep you safe until someone in your timeline fixes everything. I'm sure they will. But in that moment, a ring wraith appears behind <laughs> 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 your expectations! A ring wraith, please, because Wayne is awesome. Little Wayne suddenly feels a pulling sensation in his stomach. Uh, I think I feel something. I think I'm being pulled back. Little Wayne, before you go, what am I like in the other timeline? What? Well, you, you died in the battle. And Potter lived? 
He beat the Dark Lord. Yeah. Figures. <laughs> yeah. I guess in that reality, it's his story. This one, with him gone, I think it might be mine. Another ring race appeared! <laughs> Puff on this, you kissing mother puffer! <laughs> 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 ring race appeared! Ring race appeared! Ring race appeared! Good luck! Try to stay safe! Safe? I never really believed in safe, but don't worry about things here. I'm on top of it. Uh, one last thing before you go. Here, I found this in the school in a trunk. It's a mirror. If you ever need someone to talk to, just talk into this mirror. Okay. Whoa! Get away! Set through time and space and vanishes as someone somewhere has finally figured stuff out. Huh. Ginny, Wayne's wife in this dimension, walks on. She also looks super badass. Who is that? Don't worry about it, baby. <laughs> so, tonight's the night. Tonight we storm the ministry and we give them a fireworks show like they've never seen before. V for Vendetta style. <laughs> The book, not the movie. <laughs> I love you. I know. They make out! The few death buddies appear! Look, there he is! Get him! The hey! Break apart. Death ass eaters! Happy Voldy Day! They unleash a fury of spells! They are unstoppable! Blackout! Part five! Wayne falls on the ground! He is still bloodied and beaten from all that torture he went through. Okay. He has returned to the prime regular timeline. He looks around. I need to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to take a nap. See, in Revelations, more time travel. Hours later, we have it on Wayne waking up. He rubs his eyes, and he decides to take a walk. All of this crazy <laughs> stuff behind him. Ahead of him, he sees Craig. He waves. Craig, hey, Craig. Hi, Wayne. Just give me one second. I see Al and Scorpius, and everyone is looking for them. Oh, OK. Best friend! Best friend! Yes. They smile at each other, he lingers for a moment. Craig exits. Aww. Craig, maybe it's time. I. I. Well, suddenly, from off stage! A bother cadabra! A flash of green light! Off stage, Craig dies! Wayne <laughs> rumbles to the ground! Scorpius back on silently. A profound silence. The kind of silence that's real quiet. No sniffles, no coughs. A long, long silence. Oxford Dictionary defines silence <laughs> as the complete absence of sound. Yeah, the silence that's happening right now. It's that kind of silence. <laughs> Why is everyone being so quiet? <laughs> Suddenly, Craig's attacker enters. It's a girl. A girl who happens to look exactly like Mr. Baldy, except she has pigtails. Her name is Little Baldy. <laughs> yes, you will fulfill the prophecy. Prophecy? The prophecy. What prophecy? <laughs> it's a totally true prophecy. You'll kill your father by recreating the dark timeline. You'll be... The cursed child! Yeah! My father will reign again! <laughs> Let's go. She spins a time spinner, everyone is stuck through time, including Wayne! Not again! They are gone! <laughs> Seeing the ministry again! Another meeting at the ministry. People stand at a club. Oliver and Megan enter. They are both very disheveled from Holland, following Harry and Hermione around all week. This has been the longest few fucking days of my life. <laughs> <laughs> How's the book? Nope. How's the form? Unsigned. <laughs> yeah, he's a busy man, that Potter. I just can't believe the amount of shit they get themselves <clears throat> into. Like, we've been in several scuffles and been just all over the place in such a short chunk of time. It's it's crazy. I think we've experienced as much crazy as we could possibly experience. Hermione and Harry stand in front of a crowd. Oh, well, honestly, everyone. Thanks for coming to this big meeting. <coughs> now, we are still getting the facts straight, but... Baldy had a daughter! Baldy had a daughter! Headmaster McGee raises her hand. What? <laughs> he has a daughter? Quiet, lady! <laughs> Stop yelling at me! <laughs> Oh, let's slow down. How on earth did what's his name we try not to say have a daughter? How did that have even been alike? Everyone simultaneously <laughs> thinks. <laughs> Flashback! <laughs> <to> the bedroom! <laughs> Our Moody! There are candles laying on a bed. It's Bellatrix! She is ready to go. Uh, from upstage, 
All right, then. I'm coming in. You ready? Oh, yes. Yeah. You're definitely ready. Yeah. Oh, the enters. He's wearing a nice black velvet robe. All right, then. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, do you prefer the lights on? Oh, oh. Ravish me, Lord. Mm. <laughs> yes, sir. We'll go with the lights on. Yeah. All right, then. Let me just put some music on. Very white ears. <laughs> sexy music starts to play. Now I'll go ahead and remove my robe. Oh, no. yes. Well, he does a bit of a sexy dance as he removes his robe. <laughs> <laughs> How is that? Do you like that? Oh, I do. Yes, yes. Don't laugh! <laughs> All right. I'm almost fully nude. Forgive my pale body. Tell me, is it a snake? <laughs> is it a snake? My... Oh! Oh no! No, no, it's quite long. <laughs> Snake life, I suppose. You are. Are you sure your husband is okay with this? Rudy! Her husband oh, pops his head in from behind um, a curtain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You two kids? Have fun. <laughs> Lots of it. Yep, again, so to reiterate. Fourth year. Not so good. How's your book? 
I quit. I'm going to find a job somewhere simple, like an ice cream store. Let's reform. Oliver holds up a destroyed piece of paper. Oh, the centaur's got to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to resign. Maybe we need a mud studies teacher. Mom? Dad? <laughs> I have a surprise for you. During my time travel adventures, I... Oh, I got you a gift. I saved a dear friend of yours, and I think they really want to see you. Wayne! No. Through a door! <laughs> Bippy and <laughs> <laughs> attracted to them. So the trick is, you just have to stand up to those people and, and sometimes stay away from those people and hope that one day those people will realize that maybe they aren't the center of the universe and lots of other people live here too and they should stop being so goddamn selfish. <laughs> Until then, just try not to be one of those people. Don't be one of those goddamn people. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can do that. And please, no time travel. I'll go right to my room up in the Brave Tower. Brave Tower? Why would you do that? Because I'm a brave. No, you're not. You're just like us. You're a pup. Hi. 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 <laughs> Wait. The timeline must have changed. And it is awesome. I'm a pup. I'm a pup. When he makes it, Megan and Oliver look after him. Bippy hopes he'll be okay. <laughs> in this crazy world we live in, I fear he's destined to be cursed. Yeah! He's a cursed child. Yeah! But maybe we're all cursed children. Yeah! Yeah! Cursed. Yeah! In different ways. Cursed. Yeah! cursed to wander this crazy world. Oliver embraces Megan. They look lovingly out towards the train. I think he'll be okay. He's a sweet kid. A sweet, weird kid. <laughs> Suddenly, Harry and Ginny appear and join that loving embrace. Bye, James. Bye, Lily. Bye, Al. Harry, do you think we can ever name a kid after someone in mind? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think we all learned a valuable lesson this week. A silence. 
Nobody learned to listen. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing we didn't learn, just who was the cursed child. Look <laughs> out! Scene! One last scene! Wayne's room in the pub's basement. Finally, we cut one last time to Wayne, now decked out in as much yellow and black as he could be. He takes a picture of Craig and he puts it on his wall. He lights a candle. I will remember you, Craig. Even if no one else will. I will remember you. Hashtag remember Craig. <laughs> he digs around in his bag until he pulls out a mirror. He looks around and then he speaks. Um, hello? From that mirror, the voice of badass Wayne Hopkins. Hi. <laughs> the end. from Draco and the Malfoys will be playing uh, tomorrow night and Sunday, so please feel free to swing by after the show if you want to see that, uh, or, you know, come back if you want to. <laughs> uh, another news, very exciting, the Pops has officially just been extended through June. Uh, you know, tell anyone you know, or come back and join us again. Uh, another news, there's, there's some other little fun things that'll be happening. We might be doing, like, a Reddit Ask Me Anything Ooh. thing soon. Uh, if you've ever, ever wanted to ask something uh, about this show, that'll be your chance. <laughs> uh, so please keep your eye out for that on all of our social media. Feel free to follow us on all things Puffs Play at Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Snapchat, run by Julie here. It's very entertaining. I highly recommend it. right now! <laughs> Look at that. You might find yourself on it. Uh, and thank you all so much. Have a wonderful night. Thank you.